Welcome back to the Plus Side of Nashville. We've been talking about the Chemo Network, an organization founded to help mothers going through chemotherapy. And joining me now is Lindsay King, and she is a cancer patient, and she knows all too well the, debil the debilitating side effects of chemotherapy. And she is here with me now with Kelly Club, who was with me earlier and is the founder and director of the Chemo Network. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having it's, us. It's our pleasure. And I want to say how great you look. Mm -hmm. And um, I understand you had a chance to get a special photo session, hair, makeup, and all that good stuff done. Um, and we're going to show some beautiful pictures of your family in just a minute. But first, I wanted, if you don't mind, share with us a little bit about what's been going on with you in the last several months. Well, in August, um, I thought I might have a cyst. 37 years old, so I've never had a mammogram. Yeah. Went and um, it was, I pretty much knew immediately when they said ultrasound, biopsy, something was wrong. Um, pretty much a scare. Yeah. And um, I had breast cancer, stage two breast cancer. It had spread to my lymph nodes. Um, and they said, you have to have surgery immediately. Immediately. So um, the end of September, I had surgery and started chemotherapy in six weeks after uh, with four young children ages you know ninth grade to fourth grade it was it was hard um, but you take it as a blessing and that they found it and you go with it and um, the people that I've met have been amazing. Yeah, how did so, you find out about the chemo network? Um, actually, um, my son's football team, oh. um, one of the moms who had had breast cancer reached out to me when she found out word spreads quickly yeah. when you live in a small town <laughs> and um, she was telling me about Kelly. And so Kelly reached out to me and she's been great. We had the photo session and um, wow. She's been right there the whole time. That is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look because we understand they set up a situation for you to get your hair and oh. your makeup done. Look at that. <laughs> Got a professional <laughs> makeup nice. artist and hairstylist yeah. that are getting you all beautiful <laughs> to get your photo made. What was the, How did that make you feel? Because I know in your mind you had the mixed emotions of what you were about to go through, but at the same time you were made to feel so special. I did, and at the, the timing, like Kelly said, was perfect. Um, mm -hmm. I was starting chemo the next week and went on Saturday with my kids and having four kids take a picture, <laughs> <laughs> especially <laughs> teenagers, <laughs> it, it wasn't easy. Um, it was incredible. Oh. They make you feel so special and the boutique, mm -hmm. um, we went the week before and picked out the clothes. Yeah. So the timing mm -hmm. really got your mind off of thinking oh. what's going to happen. I know. I love that. Is that something, Kelly, that you all will do for other moms? Absolutely. So, you know, we have <clears throat> on our team, we have a makeup artist. Her name is Angela Ward, and she is such a sweetheart. And she's going to be, you know, with us, with our moms. And for our future photo shoots, we have a photographer, Becca Edmondson. She's our portrait director so even when future photographers or future makeup artists hairstylists want to get involved Becca will be the one who kind of oversees our portrait team and then the hairstylist her name is Meredith Geis and she um, actually owns the salon that we were at and that salon is called tell me I'm pretty salon oh. and it's right in downtown Franklin and just that whole team and Lindsay's clothes were um, from a boutique called Vignette, but the designer of the actual clothing line, Mary Beth, um, it's Rain is the clothing line, and mm -hmm. Mary Beth contacted us and said, she can come and pick anything from my line. Oh. And so we're gonna be working very closely with Mary Beth and the Rain um, design. Oh my goodness, that really is for the wonderful. future. Have yeah. you had lots of volunteers, or when people hear about this organization, are they more than willing to help you? Absolutely. I, I, all I have to do is kind of, well, just if we have an idea, we kind of throw it out there, and it really doesn't take long for somebody to just jump on and say, yep, I got that, I can do that, I'd love to help with that. Yeah. It's been amazing. Well, I know you're still working on your nonprofit status, so in the meantime, you're having to rely on donations and volunteers and things of that nature. You have a GoFundMe account. That's if anybody out there is watching and want to donate to this wonderful, wonderful effort, how can they get in touch with, with the, the, the fund? So if you go to our website, it's www.thechemocarenetwork.com. On our page, there's an area where it says 
donate and if you click it it'll take you straight to our GoFundMe page so they can make a really easy donation there they can contact us they can there's several ways they can do it but the easiest way would be to click the donate button okay. on our website and with our 501c3 we are really just moving right along and um, yeah. we are doing well and so the, really we're going to be looking for some corporate sponsors very soon so if okay. anybody's interested in being a corporate sponsor we would love to have you. Definitely. So. I hope you all are out there <laughs> listening. Anybody that would love to be a corporate sponsor of this That's wonderful right. organization. I understand you also have a GoFundMe account, but you work in partnership with these women in their accounts. That's right. That's right. We like to um, be able to make a gifting and a donation to each of the moms that we're working with. And so whether they want to directly donate on Lindsay's page or they come and they can click the donate button on us, what we like to do is make one large gifting to our moms. That is so wonderful. What, as a overall, how would you describe what this network has meant to you? It's just been a lot to me and my family. Um, Kelly will contact me at the best time, you mm -hmm. know, as a mom. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people don't want to bother you yeah. when you're going through chemo, and so Kelly will just say, <laughs> tell me what you need, or, oh, wow. yeah, so it's been really fun. So you don't have to necessarily reach out to her. Oh, no. She comes to <laughs> she you. She always comes to me, yeah. <laughs> wow. Lindsay, any advice um, that you would give to other mothers who may be going through chemotherapy? I would just say stay positive. It's really hard to get down, um, especially after chemotherapy, the first week. Um, you know, five days after, it's, it's tiring, fatigue, just like you said, yeah. nause nauseated. Um, just try to, to stay, stay positive, positive and keep going. Cause right. Well, you certainly are positive. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. I so appreciate it. And best of luck to you. Thank you. Gosh, you're really an inspiration. <laughs> Thank you so We're gonna much. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll meet another cancer patient who's been a recipient of the services of the Chemo Network. And Kelly will stay with us as well. So you do the same. We'll be right back. <laughs>